Hey everyone, this is my weekly meltdown. I haven't made one in a while because of holidays and I was off and I was melting a lot. So it would have been probably like a 45 minute video. I try to keep mine under 15 minutes because basically I have ADD and I don't want to sit there and watch a video that's very, very long, even though they are informative. Um, so here's what I melt. This is Bella's Bark Cinnamon Sugar Donut. And uh, this one I melt a couple pieces and all of my warmers and they threw very well um, and it had more of a cinnamon a cinnamon so it is spicy cinnamon cinnamony um, uh, scent this is I don't know if you can tell but this is a pie from sniff my tarts Meemaw's pecan pie and I melted probably more than half of it in about seven warmers yesterday and it was absolutely amazing. I've had this pie for probably around four months now. I just stuck it on a shelf and um, forgot about it, really. So this other half is going to be melted um, with these other these other ones. Because I have to melt six, 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 six warmers, seven warmers of the same thing because of my OCD. So anyways, that's that. Um, what I also got are these Angel Dust from... Waxy Lady, and this is Monkey Farts, and I, this is a two ounce bag, um, and I only put in maybe an ounce in a, um, 40 watt bowl, and it threw like crazy, so I am hoping to get more, so that I can, I think these would be really good to mix, put a little pinch of this, and a dash of that, and another one, and make your own blends, um, so I'm really excited to get more of, of these from her. I was only able to get two monkey farts and a blackberry something, wildberry something. I haven't done that one yet, but looking forward to trying more of these and possibly uh, blending them easier than cutting things in half. So on to what else I've melted and I'm not really organized today. This is um, Candles by Victoria. I like the fact that she says wax treat, don't eat. Um, this one was in Holiday Wassel. This one was her whip wax. And, um, um, Holiday Wassel was good. I've had a lot of people in my household say that they, whatever I was melting, they really liked. But compared to the other Holiday Wassels I had from like BL or whatever, it was really good. Didn't, didn't really smell. Um, the same as all the other ones, so I don't know if it's her own blend or the same oils or something done differently. But I got compliments on it. It was just different than what I was expecting, but still good. Um, that was the only one of the whip wax that I kind of liked. Um, Camels by Victoria Warm Christmas Splendor Whip Wax. I actually got um, this weird funky undertone to all the whips that I got from them. I like their... Um, I really like their scent shots. They throw amazingly, even though they're very hard wax. I don't have a problem melting because I use 40 watt bulbs um, in a 40 watt bulb warmer. So please, no one give me the thing about electricity because I don't have the senses. I have one that takes 40 watts. I actually have a lot of them. Um, so I was getting that. I tried different warmers to see if it was the warmers for hers because I wanted to give it a fair shot. Um, sorry. I want to give it a fair shot before I made my review. Um, this is again another one. These are the first time I bought these. Um, this is Cookies for Santa, um, which if you, uh, and this one I, I don't really know. It kind of tastes, kind of tastes, kind of smell like an oatmeal cookie. Not really a shortbread, not really a sugar cookie. It had some spice to it, and this one was an okay scent. But again. I just got this undertone. I used my Glade 20. I used a 24 watt. I used a 40 watt bulb. I used a 35 watt halogen. I tried everything, so I'm not just being like a little bitchy on those. I can smell something. Um, Sniff my tarts cranberry uh, chutney. This is a very nice cranberry uh, scent. I really, really like that one. In fact, when I when I smelled it, I wasn't sure I was gonna like it, and so I kind of left it for a while. I'm really glad I, I didn't melt it because I like it. Um, this one is Front Porch. This is their very soft uh, whip wax. This is uh, Mulberry Pear. And it's not focusing. And I actually like that one. Um, 
Only thing about the whip wax is I have a hard time removing them, even to the freezer method, but I do like that scent. Kay's Creation Eggnog. Um, I must have overdosed on eggnog because I've been melting it since October. But um, I'm kind of tired of eggnog right now, and I know that people know me, know I love eggnog. They're going to probably fall over when I hear that. But it was a good scent. I think I'm just tired of it. LOL Candles. This is another place that I really love. Her tad is, is, is long, too. You don't hear much about them. Um, I don't think they have a Facebook group or anything. She's strictly on the Internet taking orders. Um, not into Facebook mess. Raspberry Mint Jelly is in the twenty is in the Glade 20 Watt, and it was very good. I actually like that combo um, of Raspberry Mint Jelly. Never had it before. And uh, we'll, we'll hopefully get that again from her. Also, what I got was LOL Hanukkah Memories. This is something with grapes, strawberry, jellies mixed with something I can't remember. But um, I actually I end up liking that one too. So the LOL I haven't ordered with in probably about six years. Um, and I'm glad I actually went back to them. Just too much stuff going on. I figured I'm going to try to go back to my uh, comfort vendors from a long time ago. Holiday Fruit Punch from Streetman. Love that one. And actually you can put, probably cut this in half or a fourth and put it into your Glade or 40 Watt. And it throws amazingly. Um, with hers, less is more. So if you're not getting a scent from hers, cut them in half more. Uh, also, Orchid Lake, which I think it's Wilma's now, is Peppermint Cookie. And um, this was very light on peppermint. I want a bam in your face peppermint. And it was good, but I want it to be a little stronger than that. This is a new one that I've tried. Cardinal, um, Cardinal Candles. Yeah. And this one is uh, Fluffy Peak Candy. Very, very strong in my uh, Glade warmer. Um, so I was impressed with that. And I like the fact that it has the um, cure date so you can melt it on that date. So I ordered from them several times and was impressed by that. And this is actually one of my first Beezies um, orders I got too. Peppermint Serendipity. And this one was Peppermint Serendipity. You can smell it. It was definitely the peppermint that I'm looking for. I was in a 20 watt one night and actually opened up my sinuses. So that was a good one. Um, another Cardinal Candles, which is zucchini bread. This is uh, creamy zucchini bread, not spicy. And this is really so good. I didn't blend it with anything. I want it. Everything I got from him on his first order, I wanted it straight. No blending, nothing. So I can see how it is. Um, and if I got blended, I might not have liked it. It might have been my blend. So... I try to make my first orders straight their scent and see if I like it. New one, Super Tarts. Um, this one is Pecan Caramel Red Velvet Cookie. And this one is actually good. I, red Velvet I was scared of because I don't like chocolate. And Pecan Caramel, I'm not a caramel fan. But I guess the uh, combo of that was actually pretty good. LOL, again, Holiday Cookies. The Holiday Cookies smelt just like Candles by Victoria's Cookies for Santa. So they must be the same oil, just different name. Exact same. Like an oatmeal -y, not a sugar cookie. Um, what else do I got? Starlight it, Apple Caramel Rock Candy. I had melted half in a Glade. Um, didn't get that much of a strong scent. I put the other three cubes, yeah, three, in my 40 watt. And, um... It melted very strong. In fact, I got a couple of compliments on that. So at first I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to do this again. But the 40 watt actually threw it very well. So I'm thinking hers probably does better than the 24 watt hot plate. Which is almost the same as a 40 watt bulb. Butterfly Lane Tinsel. This is one of my favorite scents, Tinsel. And I hope people, uh, vendors keep it year round. Butterfly Lane is one of my favorite vendors. And I'm very sad to know that uh, she is not going to be making right now. Hopefully... When things get better, she can come back because I will definitely, definitely miss her wax. Um, let's see. I don't really know. I'm not going to slaughter that name. And I, I think I Googled Christine's one time to see how you say it because, you know, people can say it differently. Um, apples and cream. 
Tapaterapi and apples and cream. It had a floral scent for me. It threw okay in a 40 watt in a Glade. Um, I'm just not an apple fan, but her stock was limited and I wanted to try, so that was basically what I had. Again, Super Tarts. And this one is Jolly Rancher Pack. Very, very strong Jolly Rancher scent. Very strong fruity scent. So that one's pretty good. Um, this other one, there's no label, but I know it was Derriere Candles, and it was a cupcake, and it was an iced lemon or some lemon scent. Amazing. And I can't wait to get my stock down because I'm basically going to narrow down my vendor list, and Derriere will be part of that. Um, super Tarts. More Super Tarts. Peppermint Cake Bites. And what is this one? Eggnog Cinnamon Buns, which is, this is melting right now. Um, peppermint Cake Bites. I had to turn off in the first maybe 15 minutes. It got halfway done. Um, I was smelling chocolate or something. And also others in the house was like, please turn that off because we're not chocolate lovers in wax. We love to eat it. We don't like to smell it for some reason. So unfortunately, I had to turn that one off because it did not agree with us. Strong, though. Um, again, this is the eggnog cinnamon buns. It's going on now, and this one's actually a good scent. LOL, Rudolph Cupcakes. Uh, this one, if you like the smell of dead flowers... This is what that smelled like. This is a cranberry scent cupcake. I put it in and it smells like roses that have been sitting for over two weeks and they get this funky smell. But I went ahead and decided to melt it and see what the, the warm smell was. I could smell it. Next time I could smell cranberry. I thought, oh, this is going to be okay. The next time I could smell this horrible scent. Um... And I was told by my family to please shut that one off, too, because it smelled like dead flowers. And I thought, oh, so I'm not the only one. Um, love LOL. That one is not for me. Uh, Bella Cinnamon Frosting. Loved this one. I used the whole bag. Um, this one is buttercream frosting with a hint of cinnamon. So it wasn't that strong and, and spicy and cinnamon. Just the right touch of that. So that one was a really good one. Now I have... Rose Girl Ice Cream Scoop Bread Apple Puff Pastry Eggnog. I believe they came out with their eggnog this year. Their eggnog is a true eggnog scent. And Apple Puff, apple puff Pastry is one of my favorite apple scents. I don't like fresh apple scents. I like it mixed with like a spice cinnamon. And uh, so there's that was a loaf. And I love that one. So now this is... Um, up the Creek Scent Twisted Peppermint, and this is her her whip that I had melted off. And uh, can you smell it? No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's very good. It smelled just like the Twisted Peppermint from uh, Bath and Body Works, and so it was a great dupe. Very strong uh, peppermint scent. And what else we got here? This is Bella Swimming Pool Type. Um, I don't know what type that's from. I had never heard of it. I got it in a sampler, and it's um, it's more of a fresh perfumey, so I didn't like that because I'm not a perfume person. Plus, I don't know what type that was. Beezies again. Um, this one's pineapple colada, and I just smell fresh pineapples. I didn't smell the colada like the coconut part. Just straight up pineapples. They could have called that fresh pineapples, but it was really, really good and strong in the glaze. Um, and it was just a straight pineapple scent. So that one was good. So, we have Kay's Creation, Hansel and Gretel, which is another really good scent. That one went melted throughout the house in all my different type of warmers and did great uh, in every single one of them. Um, let's put that aside. Because I was testing for someone. Christmas Wish, Sniff My Tarts. I actually didn't know what Christmas Wish was. I just told them I wanted it. Um, it's got pine to it, so it wasn't one of my faves. I'm not a pine person. Kind of smelled like the pine soul. Um, Bella's Candles and Tarts Winter Hug. This one was like an apple. Um, and her, she's closed now, so I can't get the scent description. But it, to me, it smelled like an apple and a caramel. 
type scent. So if it's not it, that's what I picked up. And unfortunately, I can't look it up to see what it really was. Okay, we have Front Porch Banana Eggnog, which is a really great combo. Never thought to put banana and eggnog together. And that one, their banana to me smells like the candy, like runts. Um, but it was a really good one. Marshmallow Peppermint Twist was in a loaf. They're soft loaf. And that one actually is a pretty good scent too. I'm not a... Sometimes this marshmallow is really, really sweet, and I don't like it, but it was just a perfect blend to taper down the, um, the strong peppermint. This one was um, Victoria's Designer Creation Serendipity Dream Cake. I actually got this in a D-stash because I've been wanting to try them, but kind of a little chicken to place an order because I heard about the tat. Um, but this is actually a really good scent on that. Rainbow Melts, I just melted this last night. Mold Cider, absolutely amazing. Um, if you haven't tried Rainbow Melts, I recommend them. This was done in the Glade, and she's a new vendor, I believe, that came out in 2013, and I think she's actually going to do really well because I really enjoy that. This is, again, a Smith My Tart Sleigh Bells, and I don't know the scent description. I know Sleigh Bells is a scent that's been out for a very long time. Again, um, I think it had some pine to it. Um... So it wasn't one of my faves. Here's the gelatos from Candles by Victoria. Um, blueberry candy cane. And what is this one? Christmas Cabernet. Um, actually, Christmas Cabernet. Now I'm thinking about it. So sorry, guys. Christmas Cabernet is the one that everyone in my house loved. And it's the one that... Even though all a lot of vendors have Christmas Cabernet, it didn't smell the same as, as everyone else's. So it might be a different type. Um, but it was really good. I got a lot of compliments. The other one, Holiday Wassel, I did not like. It had the undertone. Blueberry Candy Corn. Or I'm sorry, Blueberry Candy Cane. Okay, the Blueberry Candy Cane, um, again, I had the weird undertone. The only one... I'll make a correction to that. The only one that I, I, we could actually keep on was the Christmas Cabernet. That was the only one I really liked. I'm going to try them again in scent shots because um, I don't know about the undertone. And I wasn't the only one smelling it in my house. It was, it was a kind of a weird oil type smell. LOL Tinsel Mint Cookies. If you know what Tinsel is, it's like a vanilla, peppermint, and berry scent. Um, so you added it with mint cookies. And so that was a nice, more minty to it. And this one is um, Kay's Creation Christmas Eve. I don't remember what that smelled like. It wasn't one of my faves, so, but it still was a good, strong scent. Um, Straightman Candles Gingerbread. This is actually mm, a really good gingerbread scent, so I enjoyed that bunt that was melted up. And I think that's all I have this time. Um, but in the middle of this... The mailman came, and I got, just ignore my messy room, and I got shipments. So I never don't, I don't do hauls, but I I'll just tack it in. This is a um, front porch shipment, and this is the first time I ever got their cookies. And these are, uh, these babies are really big. So I like those. This is the macaroons. First time I got those too, so I can't wait to try those. Super Tarts, another order came in. Um, I was kind of debating on showing this. And this, I've gotten, this is like my fourth or fifth order from them. And they've all been perfect, perfect. I just wanted to show that you get, you know, a good amount of samples. You get a cute little, little... Oops, sticker, and I believe this card is, is one that her son has drawn, so I like the personal touch to that. Um, what I did get was, again, my favorite, which is Tinsel. This is the, um, the shot of that. I got mashups in Sugar Plum. I got a mashup. Oh, that's a Sugar Plum. I got something of pineapple. I can smell it. Um, oh, this is what I got. So here's my issue. You see, it's a little messy here. It looks like the post office kind of banged it up. 
this is my issue is these are some type of shaved wax or so this was inside of this and it spilled all over so I only have half a cup of that um, but that's fine she can't help what the post office does so that's what's all over is that I do recommend though that if you have these types of tarts that are going to have little pieces all over maybe put them in a bag together so that when they do if the lids do come off they're not all over the bag all over your box so there's the utensils these are the um, sweet pineapple see I can smell it. it smells really good by the way even though my whole box smells like it it's a really good scent um, so that looks like the little I don't know what she called it, a little shaved wax. And I have some loaves here. I probably won't open them all just because everything's kind of messy. And this is just on my bed. Look how sparkly. Glitter and all. Everyone knows I love glitter. But I think I really don't. But that's okay. I'll take it from her. I'll deal. I'll deal because I know everybody likes still glitter. But, um not a fan folks I'm not a fan this is her loaf it smells amazing this is the candy fluff I can smell it it's got to be yep candy fluff lush dupe it smells amazing um, and then I have another one which one is this one snow cake And I'm not going to open that because it's very, very messy. So anyways, that's that. Um, I do recommend, don't let this box deter you anyway. I've, this is like my fourth or fifth shipment. And she's actually really, really good. Um, so I recommend those. Thanks, guys.